What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today we are going to be talking about the newly released sniper that was available to everyone for this season, which of course is the LW3 Tundra. But before I actually begin talking about the weapon, I do want to, I guess, address some mistakes that I made in the previous video talking about whether or not this gun was actually going to be overpowered. So if you guys remember, I did say that there were two barrels that did increase the fire rate. Actually, there is three. There's a third one. Uh, forgot the name of it, but hey, yeah, uh, I did get corrected on that one in the comments, so there you go. Also, another thing I did want to point out in this video, you do see me using Platinum Camo on this gun. I was using Platinum at the time, but don't worry, guys, you could still unlock Damascus if you have everything else Damascus. So yeah, uh, Damascus is not locked this time around. So I made quite a bit of predictions in that video talking about, you know, again, whether or not it was going to be overpowered, and... Honestly, I don't stand corrected at all. Like, the way that the sniper functions so far and the way that I've been using it is a lot more lenient than any other sniper I've used previously in this game. And it's so bad to the point where I kind of feel like I'm just cheating by using it. Like, there'll be times where there's someone that's, like, in the process of trying to kill me with like a different with a regular gun they're like probably two three shots in and i even then i still have enough time to aim in and just destroy them that's how overpowered this thing is much like other weapons that have black ops attachments that have little to no downsides this sniper is more or less the same way of course thankfully they didn't add any other light attachments the only thing that could really increase the speed of your gun is you know the grip tapes uh if you use anything else it's not really gonna work out at all and even when it comes to hit flinch stuff uh none of the barrels really do affect your hit flinch or you know none of the stocks or anything like that affects your hit flinch the only thing that does it's really only in a positive way i think it's the airborne elastic wrap that's the one that i use to reduce flinch and it actually works like a charm does it work too much like a charm? Uh, probably. They're, I don't know. They're going to have to make a lot of different changes when it comes to this weapon. ADS speed and just everything because this thing's way too fast. Another thing too is like the black scoping is actually very, very powerful in this with this type of gun. I remember like back in the day, I mean, Locust was the only gun that was actually capable of black scoping. But this one is like you could like really just aim in halfway and just still kill someone from almost across the map. Uh, that's something to point out. Maybe that maybe that shouldn't happen, especially for a sniper with this speed. But yeah, it, it kind of works in some ways like like either the Locust or the, the Koshka with those laser attachments. So aiming with this gun, I will say as fast as it is, it is a little bit... It takes a little bit of getting used to given the fact that most of the snipers, you know, have this same type of style or animation of aiming. So there are certain things that you can and can't do with this weapon. I mean, like it's a lot easier when you slide and kill, but... You know, jump shotting with the sniper is a little bit more challenging just based on how the animation is. I found myself a few times actually struggling to like jump shoot with the sniper. Uh, I, sometimes I do that if I need a, like if I go around the corner or something, you know, I'll jump around there and maybe shoot someone. But it's a little bit harder with this gun because of how animation, how the animation works. It makes it a little more awkward. So now to the attachments, um, I don't really think I have to explain too much. They more or less have the same type of attachments as a normal Black Ops weapon. Though, of course, the only differences, of, I would say, are probably just the barrels. I mean, they're just named differently. But for the most part, you're going to have to focus on the ones that give you the most uh, fire interval. Because, you know, shooting pretty much almost anywhere in the body other than legs is basically a guaranteed one-shot kill. Of course, the Hammer Forge Barrel, I would say, is probably the best one because it increases your fire rate the absolute most. And you don't really need any multiplier buffs or any range buffs for this weapon. This thing's already incredible. So you don't, yeah, it, it's, you're not really going to have a problem. But I think for maps such as Isolated in BR or even Alcatraz, I would actually recommend maybe using the Tiger Team Barrel because it does increase your range as well as your bullet speed and the multipliers as well. And I'm assuming one of those multipliers might be for headshots. So I know headshots are really important for snipers in Battle Royale. So yeah, I think the Tiger Team Barrel is probably the way to go if you are going to use it for, you know, BR related things. So now let's actually talk about the challenges. So of course, with snipers, they're pretty simple. Get 45 crouch kills, 120 long shot kills, 50 headshots, all that stuff. It's not really that difficult. I would always focus first on the no attachment kills and then you could just rock all the attachments that you want. Uh, keep in mind, I know some of you guys are probably more relatively new to the game, so you may not have XP cards to, you know, get to max it out immediately. So for all of you guys that do, um, the challenges could it should be pretty simple overall 
that you could actually get all the challenges done before you actually get those 350 kills for the sand camos which is something that i did on stream uh, i was actually surprised i got all the challenges done before that i usually don't do that but yeah with this gun being so good i was actually able to manage that but for all of you rare ones out there that are grinding this out the hard way don't worry it won't really take long hopefully uh you know i was talking about this on stream how you know on my alt account i was kind of like grinding things like i guess basically from the ground up and i kind of forgot how long it took to grind out snipers so yeah so it might take a little bit longer than than i actually think so yeah uh it's gonna be a bit a bit of a struggle but anyways uh my overall opinions of the gun so far it's overpowered as hell it's gonna basically take over the sniper meta at least it's gonna replace the dlq for the time being until the devs possibly nerf it i'm not sure if they would um i i know snipers are kind of like a i guess a like protected type of bracket for this game you know they don't really touch snipers a lot unless they absolutely have to so for all we know they might just keep it like this for just many seasons to come it's not really that like guaranteed that they will actually change it and like i, I wouldn't put it past them if they don't that's all i'm saying but anyways hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like make sure to subscribe for some more cod mobile content and i'll see you guys next time